The term mecha, mecha mecha, may refer to both scientific ideas and science fiction genres that center on giant robots or machines controlled by people. Mechas are typically depicted as humanoid mobile robots. These machines vary greatly in size and shape, but are distinguished from vehicles by their humanoid or biomorphic appearance and size bigger than a human. Different subgenres exist, with varying connotations of realism. The concept of super robot and real robot are two such examples found in Japanese anime. The term may also refer to real world piloted humanoid or non humanoid robotic platforms, either currently in existence or still on the drawing board, i.e., at the planning or design stage. Alternatively, in the original Japanese context of the word, mecha may refer to mobile machinery, vehicles, including aircraft in general, manned or otherwise. Topic. Characteristics The word mecha, mecha, mecha is an abbreviation, first used in Japanese, of the word mechanical. In Japanese, mecha encompasses all mechanical objects, including cars, guns, computers, and other devices, and the term robot, roboto, roboto, or giant robot is used to distinguish limbed vehicles from other mechanical devices. Outside of this usage, it has become associated with large humanoid machines with limbs or other biological characteristics. Mechs differ from robots in that they are piloted from a cockpit, typically located in the chest or head of the mech. While the distinction is often hazy, mecha typically does not refer to form-fitting powered armor such as Iron Man's suit. They are usually much larger than the wearer, like Iron Man's enemy the Iron Monger, or the mobile suits depicted in the Gundam series. In most cases, mecha are depicted as fighting machines, whose appeal comes from the combination of potent weaponry with a more stylish combat technique than a mere vehicle. Often, they are the primary means of combat, with conflicts sometimes being decided through gladiatorial matches. Other works represent Mecha as one component of an integrated military force, supported by and fighting alongside tanks, fighter aircraft, and infantry, functioning as a mechanical cavalry. The applications often highlight the theoretical usefulness of such a device, combining a tank's resilience and firepower with infantry's ability to cross unstable terrain and a high degree of customization. In some continuities, special scenarios are constructed to make Mecha more viable than current day status. For example, in Gundam the fictional Minovsky particle inhibits the use of radar, making long-range ballistic strikes impractical, thus favoring relatively close-range warfare of mobile suits. However, some stories, such as the manga, anime series Pat Labor and the American wargame Battletech Universe, also encompass mecha used for civilian purposes such as heavy construction work, police functions or firefighting. Mecha also see roles as transporters, recreation, advanced hazmat suits and other R&D applications. Mecha have been used in fantasy settings, for example in the anime series Aura Battler Dunbine, The Vision of Escaflone, Panzer World Galliant and Maze. In those cases, the mecha designs are usually based on some alternative or lost science fiction technology from ancient times. In case of anime series Zoids, the machines resemble dinosaurs and animals, and have been shown to evolve from native metallic organisms. Topic. Early history The 1868 Edward S. Ellis novel The Steam Man of the Prairies featured a steam-powered, back-piloted, mechanical man. The 1880 Jules Verne novel La Maison et Vapor the steam house featured a steam-powered, piloted, mechanical elephant. One of the first appearances of such machines in modern literature was the tripods of H. G. Wells' famous The War of the Worlds 1897. The novel does not contain a fully detailed description of the tripods or fighting machine, as they are known in the novel mode of locomotion, however it is hinted at. Can you imagine a milking stool tilted and bowled violently along the ground? 
That was the impression those instant flashes gave. But instead of a milking stool imagine it a great body of machinery on a tripod stand. Ogon Bat, a kamishibai that debuted in 1931 later adapted into an anime in 1967, featured the first piloted humanoid giant robot, Dai Ninjin Tanku, Da Renjien Tanku but as an enemy rather than a protagonist. The first humanoid giant robot piloted by the protagonist appeared in the manga Nuclear Power Android, Yuan Zi Li Ren Zhao Ren Jian Jen in 1948. The manga and anime Tetsujin 28 Go, introduced in 1956, featured a robot, Tetsujin, that was controlled externally by an operator via remote control. The manga and anime Astro Boy, introduced in 1952, with its humanoid robot protagonist, was a key influence on the development of the giant robot genre in Japan. The first anime featuring a giant mecha being piloted by the protagonist from within a cockpit was the super robot show Mazinger Z, written by Go Nagai and introduced in 1972. Early uses of mech like machines in the United States include Kimball Kinison's battle suit in E.E. E. Doc. Smith's Lensman novel Galactic Patrol 1950, the mobile infantry battle suits in Robert Heinlein's Starship Troopers 1958, and the film The King and the Mockingbird first released in 1952. <laughs> Genres <laughs> In manga and anime In Japan, robot anime, known as mecha anime, outside Japan is one of the oldest genres in anime. Robot anime is often tied in with toy manufacturers. Large franchises such as Zoids and Gundam have hundreds of different model kits. The size of mecha can vary according to the story and concepts involved. Some of them may not be considerably taller than a tank Armored Trooper Votums, Megazone 23, Code Geass, some may be a few stories tall Gundam, Escaflone, Bismarck, Gurren Lagann, others can be as tall as a skyscraper Space Runaway Idion, Genesis of Aquarion, Neon Genesis Evangelion, some are big enough to contain an entire city Macross, some the size of a planet Diebuster, Galaxies Getter Robo, Tengen Tapa Gurren Lagann, or even as large as universes Tengen Tapa Gurren Lagann, Lagann Hen, Demon Bane. The first giant robot seen was Mitsuteru Yokoyama's 1956 manga Tetsujin 28 Go. However, it wasn't until the advent of Go Nagai's Mazinger Z that the genre was established. Mazinger Z innovated by adding the inclusion of futuristic weapons, and the concept of being able to pilot from a cockpit rather than via remote control, in the case of Tetsujin. According to Go Nagai, I wanted to create something different, and I thought it would be interesting to have a robot that you could drive, like a car. Mazinger Z featured giant robots which were piloted by means of a small flying car and command center that docked inside the head. It was also a pioneer in die-cast metal toys such as the Chogokin series in Japan and the Shogun Warriors in the U.S., that were, and still are, very popular with children and collectors. Robot, mecha anime and manga differ vastly in storytelling and animation quality from title to title, and content ranges all the way from children's shows to ones intended for an older teen or adult audience. Some robot mecha are capable of transformation Macross and Zeta Gundam or combining to form even bigger ones Beast King Golian and Tengen Tapa Gurren Lagann. Go Nagai is also often credited with inventing this in 1974 with the television series Getter Robo. Not all mecha need be completely mechanical. Some have biological components with which to interface with their pilots, and some are partially biological themselves, such as in Neon Genesis Evangelion, Eureka 7, and Zoids. Mecha based on anime have seen extreme cultural reception across the world. The personification of this popularity can be seen as one-to-one -one size Mazinger Z, Tetsujin, and Gundam statues built across the world.
Topic: In film. The Star Wars series of films features several walker types, such as the at at and at Saint. The film Robot Jocks is based around gladiatorial combat between giant mecha. In the 1986 film Aliens, Ripley uses a Caterpillar P-5000 work loader to fight the Alien Queen. Sentinel 2099, a 1995 film, features a 40-foot-tall walking tank called a Sentinel Unit. They are used to combat an alien race known as the Zisk. In the Animatrix, Human Army's pilot closed cockpit mecha against legions of new models of machines which appear more like the insectoid-like sentinels. In The Matrix Revolutions, Captain Mifune leads the human defense of Zion, piloting open cockpit mecha called Apis, against invading sentinels. In James Cameron's 2009 film Avatar, mecha called amps are used as instruments of war. In Shane Acker's 2009 animated film Nine, giant walking war machines called Steel Behemoths were created by the fabrication machine to destroy all life on Earth. A heavily weaponized powered exoskeleton that envelops the operator is featured in the 2009 film District 9, and aptly named the Exosuit. Guillermo del Toro's 2013 film Pacific Rim focuses on a war between humans who pilot massive mechas known as Jaegers and Kaiju monsters that emerge from the Pacific Ocean. In The Amazing Spider-Man 2, the Rhino uses a one-person mech suit that possesses super strength and defense. In the film Iron Man, the Iron Monger, a powered exoskeleton suit operated by Obadiah Stane, is another example of mecha. In the final scenes of the Lego movie, the main protagonist Emmett creates a giant construction mech made of yellow Lego pieces which he pilots to fight in the final battle against Lord Business Forces. In Avengers, Age of Ultron Iron Man uses a mecha named the Hulkbuster to fight the Hulk. In the film AI, Artificial Intelligence by Steven Spielberg, the term mecha refers to an advanced humanoid robot species featured in the film. Topic in video games Mecha are often featured in computer and console video games. Because of their size and fictional power, Mecha are quite popular subjects for games, both tabletop and electronic. They have been featured in video games since the 1980s, particularly in vehicular combat and shooter games, including Sesame Japan's side-scrolling shooter game Vastar in 1983, various Gundam games such as Mobile Suit Gundam, Last Shooting in 1984 and Z Gundam, Hot Scramble in 1986, the run-and-gun shooters Hover Attack in 1984 and Thextare in 1985, and Arsis Software's 3D role-playing shooters Weeberm in 1986 and Star Cruiser in 1988. Historically mecha-based games have been more popular in Japan than in other countries. A popular classic of mecha in games is the MechWarrior series of video games, which takes place in the Battletech universe. Another game, Heavy Gear 2 offers a complex yet semi-realistic control system for its mecha in both terrain and outer space warfare. Armored Core is a mecha series developed by From Software, combining industrial customizable mecha designs with fast-paced action. Intelligent Systems developed and Nintendo published games that feature mecha include Battle Clash and Metal Combat, Falcon's Revenge, a single-player, shooter series mecha of games with real robot style all battles are fought with mechs called Standing Tanks Street. Squaresoft developed games that feature mecha include Front Mission, a turn-based tactical series of games with real robot-style mecha utilized by near-future military forces. Xenogears also used mecha, called Gears, as a main aspect of the story, and the series continues the use of mecha with the Monolith Soft developed Xenoblade Chronicles series. Older American tabletop games, Battletech, uses hex maps, miniatures and paper record sheets that allow players to use mecha in tactical situations and record realistic damage, while add RPG elements when desired. It is from Battletech that the term mech, a contraction of battle mech, was popularized, but mech is not to be confused with the more general term of mecha. 
The games of Hideo Kojima, including the Metal Gear series and Zone of the Enders, include Mecha as part of their main premise. In the former, which takes place during the modern day and near future, prototype nuclear-capable bipedal tanks called Metal Gears are a recurring element. In the latter, real robots called LEVs exist alongside a more super-robot like mecha type known as the Orbital Frame. In the tabletop game Warhammer 40,000, the forces use mecha of a variety of sizes and shapes. The monolith productions game Shogo, Mobile Armor Division blended mecha gameplay with that of traditional first-person shooter games. PC game League of Legends, developed by Riot Games, include mecha as part of champion skins, designed as super robots Mecha Malphite, Mecha Kha Zix, Mecha Atrox, Mecha Zero Scion, etc. In Titanfall and Titanfall 2 from Respawn Entertainment, mechas are heavily involved within gameplay and the story. Kirby, Planet Robobot features extensive use of the Robobot armor, mecha resembling Kirby with the ability to copy enemy abilities known as modes. Hawken is an online first-person shooter in which pilots can choose from a variety of bipedal mechs, each having an intended specialization, to engage in free-for-all or team-based combat. Mechs have special abilities related to their role that, when activated, augment their weapon cooling, damage, defense, accuracy, mobility, stealth, or other characteristic to provide a temporary advantage. Topic. Real Mecha There are a few real prototypes of mecha-like vehicles. Currently almost all of these are highly specialized or just for concept purpose, and as such may not see mass production. Land Walker, a machine developed by Sakakabara Kikai with the intention of giving the impression of a bipedal mecha. T-52 Enryu, translated name. Rescue Dragon. It is a 3.5-meter tall hydraulically operated robotic vehicle developed by TMS UK. The vehicle has two hands, which copy the controller's movements. Its intended application is to open a path in the debris for the rescue team. In 2018, Japanese engineer Masaki Nagumo from Sakakabara Kikai completed construction of a functional bipedal mecha inspired by the Gundam franchise. The device, standing 8.5 meters tall and weighing about 7 tons, possesses fully functional arm and leg servos. In the Western world, there are few examples of mecha, however, several machines have been constructed by both companies and private figures. Timberjack, a subsidiary of John Deere, built a practical hexapod walking harvester. Topic. See also Battle mech Category, Mechanical Designers mecha. Chicken Walker Gate Clan Linkage Karatas Mobile Robot Model Robot Powered Exoskeleton Sentry Gun Warframe